hello and welcome to the Natural History Museum's Beetle Collection. And here behind you, you have one of the largest, one of the oldest, one of the most important collections of its kind anywhere in the world. We have about 25,000 drawers of specimens, about 8 to 10 million individual beetles. And let me show you some of the highlights. Now this is the largest species of beetle in the world. It's called Titanus giganteus, and it lives in the rainforests of northern Brazil and the Guianas. They can get 17 centimeters long, and they fly towards electric light, which might be quite alarming. In the bottom of the drawer here is the smallest beetle in the world, a feather-winged beetle which is 0.3 of a millimeter long. And those are found worldwide, so you can probably find them in your garden if you look carefully enough. So this is a drawer of beetles collected by Charles Darwin himself on the voyages of the Beagle in the 1830s. And uh, he was a young man when he had the opportunity to attend this um, five-year circumnavigation of the world. And during the voyage, he collected some 8,000 beetle specimens. And most of these were named by Natural History Museum scientists, several of them named Darwin Eye in his honor, and are preserved here at the museum. So these are the actual specimens handled, collected, and labeled by the young Darwin on his expedition. Now the beetles are the largest and the most diverse group of organisms on the planet. Scientists have so far named more than 400,000 different species. And to give you a snapshot of the diversity, this is a collection made by one of our scientific associates in a mountain range in Tanzania in a period of about four or five days. So that just gives you an idea of the vast diversity of this group of insects. Mm -hmm. 